What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back yet again, bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield. In today's video, we are rocking out with an amazing ghost type Gorgas alongside with a heavy meta squad. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content at any time, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, definitely consider subscribing. It only takes two seconds of your guys' time and it really helps me grow as a content creator. But before we get started with today's team preview, I want to give a huge shout out to the team creator, Sableye VGC. I will be leaving the link to all of his socials down in the description below. Definitely go check him out. But let's get started here. Top left corner with Gorgeist right here. We got Frisk alongside that choice scarf to make this Pokemon pretty much outspeed almost any Pokemon field it's got phantom force it's got trick or treat destiny bond and trick so it has a really cool move set phantom force is going to be our only hitting stab move we got trick to actually hand off that choice scarf and we also have trick or treat to make any pokemon ghost typing and then we got destiny bond if we feel like there's a threat that's going to kill us we can just set up the destiny bond control that and then have him go down with us second pokemon on the squad is going to be calyrex over here and calyrex pairs perfectly with gorgeist because like i said gorgeist has trick or treat can make any pokemon ghost typing and calyrex can pretty much outspeed anybody and just take them out in one shot He's got the as one ability alongside with the life orb so this pokemon is definitely dynamaxable he's got astral barrage side shock mud shot and then protect for its final move middle left is going to be that oh so standard zassian over here he's got interpret sword breast sword iron head sacred sword player off and protect nothing more i need to say about it it's just a standard zassian that does so much work on the rank ladder fourth pokemon on the team is going to be Wimscott over here with the prankster and the mental herb great little support mod for any squad it's got moon blast it's got helping hand it's, all, it's also rock and safeguard to actually protect us from status conditions so if we know if like a venusaur is out on, on the field gonna go for a sleep powder we'll just set up that safeguard protect us from the sleeps and we'll roll from there last but not least obviously we have tailwind for that lovely speed control bottom left hand corner is one of my favorite back end pokemons urshifu right here with unseen fist and focus Ash. i just love having him in the back end he comes in late game and just cleans up a lot of the battles it's got wicked blow it's got close combat second punch first turn priority and then detect to, to work as a protect final pokemon is going to be regilecki over here with the transistor and the magnet to boost electric type damage it's got rising voltage e-web for speed control hyper beam for coverage and then last but not least it's rolling out with protect Guys, if you want to try this team for yourself, the code is at the bottom of the screen, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that ranked double ladder, look to get some wins with this Gorgeist team. Let's get rolling here in battle number one. We are going up against a typical Ice Rider Calyx Trick Room team. I think this is like one of the most meta and strongest Trick Room teams in the game. So hopefully we can start off with a victory. He's got the Duskoffs, he's got the Amoongus, then he's got the Palkia. He also has the Regilecki and Incineroar. So how should I play this one? How should I go into it? I feel like Calyrex and Gorgeist could definitely be two solid little Pokemon right here. Right? I mean, if he goes in with Incineroar, we're both special attacking. It will not affect us. Plus, we're ghosts. We can't be faked out. I really do like this. Plus, we do a lot of damage on a lot of different Pokemon. So, I like the two ghost type Pokemon. Let's roll out with them. We definitely want to bring Zassian in the back end. And last but not least, I don't think we're rocking Taunt on this Pokemon, right? We're not rocking Taunt on you. We're not. So, I don't think we really need you. I feel like a Pokemon like Urshfu would come in a little bit better. Has first turn priority. It also has Sucker Punch. I'm liking it. I'm liking it. Let's lock it in. Let's lock it down. Let's look to grab ourselves a win here in battle number one. But before battle number one starts, we got two things. One thing is going to be question of the day. That is, what is one rule they should add to rank battles? And two is, you guys want to check out some cool merchandise? Check out Short Circuit Gaming merchandise. They sent me this hoodie and this hat that I've been wearing for a while. But this hoodie is a gaming hoodie. I kid you not. It has like that fleece in there. And it's so comfortable. I'm wearing it with no shirt on. I just, it's just warm and cool just like a perfect game hoodie so if you guys are interested in getting that link down in the description below to the acquire merchandise five percent off code using code short circuit and if you guys want rogue energy we also have a ten percent code using uh short circuit also check out their uh content go follow them down in the link in the description below short circuit on all platforms i have all the links down in the description below definitely go check them out i do extra content over there so if you guys want to catch that like i said go follow them over there but uh he's gonna end up leading the mungus alongside with regilecki and i'm totally cool with this i can just straight up shy shock or i can go for a straight up dynamax if i want to um, I really don't want to give him the choice scarf. Actually, I could give him the choice scarf. I could Dynamax and go for the special defense boost, but I just think this Max Mindstorm is going to be great for us. I'm rolling in that, and I could Destiny Bond. I could definitely Destiny Bond here. Or I could Phantom Force and dip. I am a quick little Pokemon. I'm thinking of Phantom Force and dip instead of Destiny Bond here. So what's your speed at? Let me see your speed real quick. We have 15 seconds. I see my time. I just want to see this thing's speed. What's your speed at, kind sir? A 149 with that choice scarf? You should be able to outspeed those. Lucky. Should be able to outspeed this Regilecki. So I'm going to dip the Regilecki. And we're going to get after him. I'm cool with this all day. Because we should be able to take out the Moongus here. If he wants to go for a Rage Powder or a Spore. That's fine. I'm just going to go straight into this Phantom Force. And I'm just going to go into a uh, Max Mindstorm. I'm hoping the Regilecki actually protects here. Thinking that I'm going after him. When he's trying to Spore me. I'd be cool with that all day. Or he could be going for a Rage Powder. Which I wouldn't mind. 
I wouldn't mind, but we get the Dynamax Calyrex. Something you don't really normally do is Dynamax Calyrex, which is pretty cool. He's going to end up going for a Volt Switch. He's going to pivot out here. And that's totally fine. We're just going to Phantom Force and dip out of here. So I'm really cool with that turn. I really am. Let's see what he goes into from here. Because again, this uh, this Max Mindstorm should just be able to dump on that all day. He's going to go into Incineroar. I'm, I'm cool with that. I have Quake for that. I have Quake. And you can't fake me out, which is just amazing. Which is just amazing. Which is amazing. We love it. We love it. We love it. We love it. Plus, if this uh, if this Mindstorm picks up the KO, it's just big time plays because we got a plus one. So that could be a strong start for us. It could definitely be a strong start. Max Mindstorm's going to fly out here. It's Life Orb. I tell him it should be able to take out Moongus, no problem, which it does. Moongus, get on out my game. Get him on out of here. Absolutely dumped on him. And we set the terrain, which is solid. So we know we have Regilecki in the back end. We have Phantom Force going after that Incineroar. Um, what do I want to do here? What do I want to do? It really depends who he goes into. We got Grimnade boosted. We're Grimnade boosted right now. Which is, which is really lovely. So I could go for the special defense boost. If he throws out Regilecki, I think that's going to be the play. But we'll just see what he wants to do. He's going to go back into Regilecki. Yeah, I think we just go into the Max Quake on him. Because he could Dynamax that Pokemon. It's definitely a Dynamaxable Pokemon. And that special defense boost can work wonders on us. Or plus one. I'm just going to roll into that. Because we got Phantom Force already going after that, uh, that Incineroar. And if I had to guess that Incineroar is probably going for like, maybe like a throw chop or something. Or maybe even a parting shot. But if he goes for a parting shot, we're fine. He's going to Thunderbolt here. That's fine. We're going to drop a Phantom Force. Roll on into that. Bop. Doing like no damage. I probably should have went after Incineroar. But this thing has Focus Ash. It has Focus Ash. It's all good. It's all good. Special defense boost coming out here. And show, show me no Focus Ash. It is Focus Ash. You little biscuit. It's fine. We have Sucker Punch in the back end. That's why I love what's called. That's why I love having Urge Food in the back end. It's just such a good back end Pokemon. That's going to come out here. I'm guessing this thing's either parting shotting or, or like faking or throw chopping something along those lines. He's going to Snarl, which is totally fine. Snarl's totally cool. I'm totally cool. Um, at this point, I'm just going to Phantom Force into the Regilecki slot and I'm just going to Max Quake into the uh, Incineroar slot. Which I still think Incineroar can take out. Or we can still take out Incineroar. Because we're just back even on the board, you know? We're just back even on the board. Which is great. Thunderbolts can come out here. We should be able to soak. Thank you, Special Defense Boost. And Phantom Force is going to come out from the Gore guys. And then we're just going to roll into another Dynamax shot. So, dude, I really like where we're sitting. We're thriving right now. We're doing great with this squad. The Ghost Pokemon was such a solid lead. Such a solid lead. Quake's going to fly out here. And it does pick up the KO. Let's go, dude. Calyrex Dynamax just does too much damage. It's just so good, especially with the Life Orb on top of that. It's just amazing. It's just amazing. The solid start to this battle. Um, Red's like he's going to go for, like, what's he going to do? A Thunderbolt? Or no, he already sent a Thunderbolt. We might be able to eat up another th Thunderbolt. I'm not too sure. But Phantom Force will come in there, clean up that uh, Red's like he all day. And then this thing's just going to send out a Calyrex of his own. Which, dude, I'm totally fine with. I'm totally fine with. I'm cool with that, considering, like I said, we have Sucker Punch, we have Focus Ashes, we can do some big damage, and I have Zacian and Urshfu. I think all my Pokemon are super effective up against them. Yeah, we are. <laughs> that's that's hilarious. That is great. So from here, I'm just going to try to drop an Astro Barrage. I know we're dead here. I could protect the shot, but I don't want him popping a trick. I'll just go for that. I'm with this. I think we should be thriving here. I really do. Probably going to Dynamax Calyx right here. Drop Ice, go for the Grim Nade boost. Or do we think he's setting up a trick room? All I know is Regilecki's dead. Because there's no way Regilecki's Dynamax. If Regilecki protects, then uh, we hit through with Phantom Force. But yeah. Dice Rider Calyx is going to Dynamax. And he's going to be so upset when he sees two Pokemon that are faster than him that can kill him in one shot. <laughs> we have Behemoth Blade Zazian, which can just rip that thing. And then we have a Close Combat or even a Wicked Blow onto that thing. Could do a ridiculous amount of damage. So I'm loving it. I'm loving the back end Pokemon here. So Regilecki's going to drop the Thunderbolt, right? Yeah. He's going to say bye-bye, Calyrex. Calyrex is going to drop down. Phantom Force is going to come out here. We're going to take out Regilecki. He's going to drop a Hailstorm. He's going to take out my Gorgeist. And then, yeah, it, it's over. It's fine. We should be we should be thriving here. Gorgeist doing some work. I was going to choice into, like, a Trick or Treat and start making Pokemon Ghost type, but I just saw the play. I was just like, dude, let's just choice into a Phantom Force. He can start chipping up some damage, doing some good work all around. That's exactly what he did. But, yeah, here comes the Hailstorm. That's totally fine. Gorgeist, thanks for popping out. Thanks for doing a lot of work. And our lead was perfect. Our lead was just... There was nothing better than that lead in this battle. So we're starting off strong. We started off strong with 1-0. We're going to go 1-0. If I lose this battle somehow, that's just insane. That's just insane. But, yeah, you can have the chilling Nade boost. He's probably sitting here like, come on, yo. I have one shot. And he's probably like, as long as this guy doesn't have Zacian in the back end. Just to make it worse, we have Zacian and Focus Sash. Or Shifu. 
And focus Ash or Shifu. <laughs> he's like, oh my god. He's probably looking at both these, both these Pokemon. Like, come on, yo. The two Pokemon that just rip into me. I hope he just cancels. That'd be hilarious if he's just like, nah, I ain't dealing with this. Zeri knows what's coming. He knows what's coming. Double damage with that. And then uh, just a wicked blow. Right? We're, we're already outspeed him. That's huge. Just cancel the battle. I hope this guy cancels the battle. It would just be funny. He's going to guard. I mean, take off my sash. That's fine. We still outspeed. You're not eating up both these shots. It's not happening. It's not happening, sweetheart. It's not happening. He knows it, too. He's like, oh, my God. What do I do? <laughs> He's like, what do I do here? <laughs> what do I do? He guards. Terrain goes off. That actually helps me because now I can sucker punch down if I wanted to. <laughs> but that's fine. Same thing. Just mash A. Let those moves fly through here. That should be GG's, right? That should be GG's. Just cancel the battle. I don't even think you're eating up the Behemoth Blade. I don't even think you're eating up. Actually, it might eat up the Behemoth Blade, but if it does, like putting it on one, then I just have my Urshfu coming in hot. Behemoth Blade coming in here. Let's, let's see it. Let's see it. Make it happen, Zastian. Just wrap it up. Skylark stands no chance. No chance. Stands no chance whatsoever. Urshfu didn't even get off a shot, but he was there to pose that threat. Nice little start from us. The Ghost Squad gets it started off strong. We go 1 0. Let's hop into a second. Let's go back to back. We're going up against a very similar team here in battle number two. This guy's rocking the Ice Rider Calyx Trick Room team, and I'm pretty sure like every single Pokemon's the same besides the Dialga and Palki, right? I don't know if he had Top of Finny. I kind of forget that squad in the last one, but still, it's basically the same team. How should we go into this one? How should we play it? I kind of don't want to go into the Gorgas Calyx combo, but I kind of do at the same time because he does have Fake Out. But a Pokemon that I would love to like. Hmm. Oh, that's tough. Because I would love to get rid of like a. Uh, well, I'd love to go Urshfu and Calyrex. But the problem with Urshfu is he could just be faked out by Incineroar if he goes like Incineroar and PZ. And plus Intimidate doesn't work onto him. So what do I want to do? What moves are you rocking here? What moves are you rocking? You got Helping Hand. You got Tailwind, Moonblast, Safeguard, blah, blah, blah. Um, hmm. I could trick that PZ into, ooh, into a Choice Scarf. That could be good. That could be good. And then just Dynamax and try to get after him. I kind of like it. Or I could just go here. No, no, no. We're going to go here and here. We're going to go with the Ghost Squad again. Ghost Squad, Zassian, and Urshfu. It just works so well up against a lot of these Pokemon, so I'm really digging it. Let's lock it in. Let's lock it down. Let's look to grab ourselves a win here in battle number two. But the scary lead for me would be that P2 and that Incineroar. That's just my scary lead. Because then, like, P2 can easily just set up and... Like, you can just easily set up, you know? You just set up all day. But in that, that case, I would just trick-or-treat it. I would... Oh, not trick-or-treat it, because trick-or-treat would actually uh, change it to Ghost type in, but then normal still wouldn't affect it. And, of course, it leads to two that I was just talking about. But I'm thinking I'm just going to trick it, give it the Choice Scarf, and try to get some damage off onto it. That's going to be a play. I'll take its Evo late all day. Uh, do I Dynamax and see if I can pick up the KO? I might go for that. I might go for that. I might go for the KO here. might go for that KO. Take its item and roll off from there. Wouldn't be too bad. Would not be too bad. So we know that thing has a, uh, a berry. Sinor's rocking the, the berry. Fine. But yeah, I think I just have to trick it here, right? Sounds about right. Sounds really good. Max Mindstorm into this thing and trick it, take off its Evo Light. And see if we can do enough damage to actually KO it. That's my play. Because he can't fake me out. If I had to guess he's either going to Parting Shot, Snarl, Throat Chop, Darkest Larry. Just one of those moves into my Calyrex. Which Calyrex should then be able to eat up. But if we get rid of this P2 and allow it not to set up a Trick Room, that could be eaten off. That could be a ridiculous turn for us. But the Ghost Squad rolling. I'm gonna trick it, we're gonna get a choice scarf. And at that point, he's gonna have to swap next turn. If he does survive, you know? If he does survive, he's gonna have to swap next turn. Let's see what he does here. Let's see what the play is. So, Trick's coming out here. We're gonna say, hey, yo, give me that Evo light. You can have this little choice scarf. Take it. It's all yours. It's all yours, buddy. It's all his. We're gonna go for the Mindstorm. Just KO now. Maybe, maybe not. Bro, so close. So close. Almost made it happen. Almost made it happen. That would have been an awesome play. But yeah, we're kind of sitting a little tough here. I don't like where we're sitting now. The Trick Room's going to come out and about. There's Darkest Lariat. We are... So we survive. But that still stinks. The Trick Room's going to come out here. So he's obviously going to swap here. He's obviously going to swap. Uh, at this point, I just... uh Go into... What do I go into? I could guard, but Trick Room's out. That sucks. I'm definitely going to do that. And then I might just go... I don't want to go into a Destiny Bond just yet. Do not want to go into a Destiny Bond just yet. 
I think I'm just gonna fan force into the P2 slot because P2's gotta swap here, right? He's gotta swap. He's gotta swap. So he swaps to P2. He's gonna go into Calyrex. Incineroar is going to take out my Calyrex. And we'll see what he wants to do from here. We shall see what he wants to do from here. Kinda scary. Definitely scary. Dark Slayer should come out here. See you later, Calyrex. God dang Trick Room. We try to get out of it. We try to get out of that. P2 setting up Trick Room. It's a really tough thing to kind of get around. Because if I would have led to Urshfu, like Urshfu would have just, you know, just been got, gotten faked out, right? It would have faked him out. It would have been tough for me. Just, you know, like, bro, get out of my face. Now he has Calyrex out on the field. Um, could bring out Urshfu for me. Urshfu wouldn't be bad. Wouldn't be bad here. Or do I bring out this ass? I mean, we both hit through protect, so you know what? I'm gonna go to Urshfu and I'm gonna drop a whip. I gotta get rid of that Calyrex. I have got to get rid of that Calyrex. That Calyrex has gotta go. Oh, we can't sucker punch, which sucks, but I'll go for a wicked blow because we do have focus ash. Okay, let's see how this one plays. Is he Dynamax Calyrex? I hope he just regular protects. We just Phantom Force and wicked blow right through to protect. That'd be hilarious. But I think he Dynamaxes and he might even max guard here, which would be a smart play. Would be a smart play. He's just gonna withdraw the Calyrex. Okay, so going back into P2. All right, P2's coming out here. All right, little play, but P2's gonna go down. P2 is gonna go down here. That's just wasting out Trick Room turns, which I kind of like. Parting shots can come out here. Again, you're just wasting out Trick Room turns for me. I dig it. I dig it. So he's gonna go back into Calyrex. That is fine. Can I get a Destiny Bond rolling? Oh, that could be amazing. We get Destiny Bond and Calyrex can take out my my Gore guys. That could be nice. That could be real lovely. That could be real lovely. But Urshfu, oh, no, I was going to say Urshfu might go first. That doesn't affect P2, but Urshfu's going to go next. Wicked Boy is going to take it out. No problem. He has no Evo Light. See you later. See you later. So P2 gone. Get rid of him. And now we're gonna get more. We're gonna get more. Waste out these trick and turn slowly. We still have focus dash, which is great. Critical hit so that attack drop will not do anything to us. I'm with that all day. He's gonna bring back out Incineroar. So Incineroar's gonna come out here for the Intimidate. I'm gonna go for the Destiny Bond here. I'm going for this Destiny Bond all day. Well, Destiny Bond action. Let's do it. Let's do it. Is he gonna Dynamax? I kinda hope he does. Do that, and I'm just gonna. I'm Destiny Bond all day. Right? Gonna Destiny Bond. I'm looking for it. I am looking for it. Hopefully we can pull it off. I don't I don't know how the speeds work with Destiny Bond. I don't use it too often. But uh if it's still trick room speeds, like he's gonna take me out before Destiny Bond even comes out. But if Destiny Bond works up by like going first, that'd be huge. You can go for the fake out, but Psychic Terrain is gonna take that. He's gonna glacial lance it. It doesn't work. It's actually really good for us. I'll take this all day. I'll take this all day. So, Core Guys goes down, obviously. And, dude, I wish Destiny Bond would have came out first. That could have been enormous. That could have been enormous, but I still think we take out this uh, Calyrex here, right? I still think Calyrex gets dropped out here. Wicked Boy's going to fly. I need his terrain to end so I can start sucker punching again. And it does not take him out. That hurts the soul. How many turns left in this terrain? How many turns is left in this terrain here? And, of course, we're triggering Sash. We are triggering Sash. We're well, not Sash. Uh, weakness policy. That hurts the soul. That hurts the soul. That thing's plus three. He's plus three. And I don't even think a soccer punch can take him out anymore. We're minus two. Or indeed minus two. How many turns left in Trick Room and in the turn? One and one. Oh, this is easy though. Protect round. Protect. And he might just hard swap here. If I was him, that'd be a smart play. It would just be hard swap. But I'm just going to protect. Don't protect. Waste out these Trick Room turns. Let's do it. And he's not going to swap. That works for me. I'm digging it. I'm digging it. Don't protect comes out here. I can wicked blow him next turn and just uh, play rough. Not bad turn. Not bad turn. Glacial Lance is going to fly out here. I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. We can say bye-bye Trick Room. And we can get rolling. Flare Blitz coming out here as well. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Not bad so far. Not bad so far. Trick Room's gone. That's huge. That is just enormous for us. Trick Room's gone as well. Okay. Right? Trick Room just ended. Right? Trick Room's gone. Yeah, Trick Room's gone. Okay, so at this point, it's just an easy wicked blow. We already know we outspeed, and then just a, uh, take a sword. Yeah, let's get after this thing. Take a sword in him. If Cadillacs wants to protect, we're going to hit through it. 
And he does it. Sacred Sword's gonna fly. Yeah, big old damage. Later, Incineroar. Calyrex is next. Oh, that's a crit. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. RNG on him on my side, but still, I think we were thriving after this. I think we were thriving. We waste out Trick Room perfectly. He still has a Dynamax, which I have to watch out for. And it might be Dialga. It might be Dialga. That's a little scary if it is Dialga. But as long as it doesn't have that weakness policy. Because we know the Calyrex has the weakness policy. So not bad so far. Definitely gonna come down right here right now. It's gotta be Dialga with the Dynamax, right? Which has a lot of different things it could do. It has a lot of different things it could do. It does have Quake. And I wonder if we can eat up a Quake. This thing's probably orbed. I could protect here, but I don't I don't know. I do not know. Most combat could come out here. But at the same time, it's just like, eh. How much damage is it really going to do? When Wicked Blow is always a crit. Because we're minus two. We're minus two. So I think, like, I think Wicked Blow might do more damage. Might as well give Close Combat a try. Might as well give it a try. We'll stick a sword on top of that. Double down with super effective shots. Get off some big shots. And we'll off from there. So here comes the Dynamax. Here comes the Dynamax. Battle's coming down to the wire here. Hopefully we pick up a win. If not, it's still a solid battle for battle number two. I wish Destiny Bomb was like a first turn priority move. If you use it, Destiny Bomb up. Like that's just such a sick move, but it makes sense. I feel like it would be OP at that point if it had a first turn priority. Take your sword's gonna fly. Solid damage on the field. Solid damage on the field. Close combat, how much are you doing? I think Wicked Blow might do more. I think Wicked Blow might do more. I wonder who he's gonna take out here. I wonder who he's taking out. He's gonna go for a Steel Spike. That's gotta be taking out my Urshfu. I'm actually glad he took out Urshfu. He gets a defense boost, but the problem is, can my Zassian eat up a shot? We need Zassian to be able to eat up a queen. He gets two turns. That's that's GG's for us. If he gets two turns, that's GG's for us. Let's go take a sword again. Maybe we can just get a crit and finish this one off with some RNG. Let's take a sword flying out here. Is that a crit or we just take him out? No, we just take him out. Get him out of here. Get him out of here. Dashing coming in clutch on that Dynamax Dialga. Great back end support. There it is, guys. 2 0. We just guaranteed ourselves a winning record. It's time to grab ourselves a perfect record with the Pumpkin Squad. Yes, I just called it the Pumpkin Squad. Deal with it. Deal with it. But at least we're not going up against the Trick Room team here. We're going up against a Zacian and Shadow Rider Calyrex team. Again, a lot of meta Pokemon just like us. He has the uh, Thunderous. He has the Regilek. He has Incineroar. And then on top of that, he has Storm Drain Gaston, which I really don't see him bringing out. I really don't see him bringing out. I might just go Gorgice and just pop a Destiny Bond, to be honest with you guys. Because if he goes Calyrex, we can legit just pop or pop Protect Destiny Bond up and roll off from there. That could be a nice little play. I could also go Wimscott. Wimscott's not too bad. But I think he leads to Calyrex, right? He's got to lead to Calyrex. That's got to be his play. Um, hmm. Do I want to go Calyrex too? We could just lead Ghost Squad. Or I can lead Zassian. Zassian's not too shabbier. Zassian could just get a lot of work done. But the problem would be, like, Incineroar coming in here. So let's go uh, Regilecki, Zassian, and the Calyrex in the back end. I'm digging it. I'm liking it a lot. I would love, I would absolutely love to pop a Destiny Bond onto his Calyrex turn one and just get rid of it. That could be a power move. That could be a power move because it's just so satisfying pulling off a play like that. But let's see. Go ahead. Lead the Calyrex. Just, just lead the Calyrex. Lead the Calyrex. I'll, I'll protect my Regilecki. I'll Destiny Bond up and we'll roll from there. It would just be a beautiful sight to see. It would be a beautiful sight to see. Go ahead. Calyrex. Show me Calyrex. Thunderous and Calyrex. Hopefully he's going. Oh, yo. He might airstream me. Oh, he might airstream my Gorgas. I'm Destiny Bonded. We're going after it. We're getting after it. I'm looking for it. He has Focus Ash and he has the Soul Fest. So it's that normal attacking Defiant Boy right there. So, dude, we're rolling with it. Destiny Bond, let's send it. Destiny Bond and just protect. Let's chill out here. Let's protect our Regilecki and let's roll off from there. He's got to be going for an airstream. He's got to be taking some speed. Go ahead. Dynamax, go for the airstream. Dynamax, go for the airstream. Yo, if this happens, I'm not sure. I'm not even sure if Destiny Bond can work on Dynamax Pokemon. It should be able to. That'd be that'd be stupid if it doesn't, but we'll see what he wants to do. Go ahead, Dynamax. Just, just do it. Just do it. I know you want to do it. You know that thing's an absolute beast. It can give you some speed. It can roll out pretty strong. You know you got a super effective shot onto it. There's Dynamax. Come on, yo. Show me Thunderous. Show me Thunderous. Show me Thunderous. Yeah. Let's go. Let's go. Step one done. Now we just need to airstream in the Gore guys. Now we just need to airstream in the Gore guys. Now we just need an airstream in the gore, guys. Come on, send send it. Because Destiny Bond's gonna come out here for it first. We're choice. We're choice. It's just gonna pop out. We're gonna pop it right here. We're faster than this Regilecki. He actually goes first. We still should be faster than that, uh. Than that Thunders, right? 
still should be faster than that Thunderous, even with this minus one. Right, your choice, Scarf. Don't, don't do me dirty like that. Don't do me dirty like that. Come on, yo. No, dude. That seat bond should be out. It should be out. You're really not faster than that? You're like 150 speed with a choice scarf. Poor guys. Pumpkin boy. Pumpkin boy. Let me, let me come here. Let me see your speed real quick. Pumpkin boy. Your choice. 149. Is there like a thing going on with Destiny Bond? Let's see. After using this move, the user faints the Pokemon that landed attack. Blah, blah. Yeah, dude, I know how this works, but Pumpkin, you're not faster? You're not faster, Pumpkin Boy? Pumpkin Boy, you're better than that. Pumpkin Boy, you're better than that. Uh, I guess we're rolling here. I guess we're rolling here. I'll drop a blade all day. I'll drop a blade. That, that, that's whack, dude. That's whack. I thought we were going to have to play the century here. I thought play the century was coming in hot. Uh, I guess I'll Behemoth Blade across this board. It's going to do more damage than anything else, so we'll do that. And I guess we'll just rise the voltage into this. If you want to set electric train, that's fine. You already have speed. You have coming out here. You already have speed. Doesn't matter. I mean, Regilaki would be a bit faster, but you already have it. You're plus one. It's fine. Destin, can you eat up whatever he has to offer? You know lightning's coming in. Oh, he's going to darkness. What are you going after here? You're going to take out my Reggie? Reggie, can you eat this? Reggie! Reggie! Let's go, Reggie! Let's go, Reggie. Special Defense Drop is going to come out here. e going to take us out next turn. And it's going to come down to my Calyrex just Dynamaxing. Unless this Behemoth Blade can get some work done. Go ahead. Go ahead. Get some work done. Even though it's not very effective. Should be able to do a huge chunk. Probably not KO, right? Hopefully KO. That'd be cool. We do not. That's rough news. That's rough news. This is where Urshfu could come and clutch. But yeah, that's going to be easy. Nah, I don't think it's going to be easy double kill. Hmm. What do I want to do here? Do I just want to Behemoth Blade? I think I'm just going to play rough and get rid of this Regilecki. And if I can, just pop an E-Web. <laughs> just pop an E-Web. But he's going to pop an E-Web on himself. He's going to take out my Regilecki. And then he's going to double down to my Sassian, right? He's got Thunderbolt. A little dumb. Oh, no, that's not dumb. You're going after Sassian. Darkness comes out here, and I can't believe you just let my Zassian get another turn. I can't believe you just—you thought you were gonna take me out. You thought you were gonna take me out. Okay. Now at this point, we gotta bring out Cali. Cali, Cali, Rex gonna come out here. They're off flying. Please don't be Sash. Of course it's Sash. When isn't it Sash? When isn't this Pokemon Sash? So I mean, we have like a slight chance here. I know he has a Max Darkness, right? But uh, good protector Zass here. I'm kind of leaning towards protecting his assing, but I don't know. Huh. What do I do here? What's the genes play? What's the genes play here? Two Pokemon low on HP. I would love, I would absolutely love to pop a, uh, I would love to pop a, what's it called? An Astro Barrage, but I cannot. Let's just quick get rid of that Reg Lucky. Let me see what Pokemon you have in the back end. Physical, a lot of physicals. A lot of physicals. So special defense isn't really going to do me good. I mean, what would be better? Mindstorm, we can set the terrain. For no first turn priority. Do you have any first turn priority Pokemon? You do have a. Uh, you have Incineroar. You know what? That's deck on window. I'm going to set this. And who do I get rid of? I do not know. Uh, I guess we're going to get rid of Reggie. This Cadillac still might be able to outspeed Thunders. Okay, so that's what we're going to do. We're looking for the comeback here, but dude, I can't believe my trigger or not my trigger treat, my destiny bond thing did not work. I can't believe he outsped like that. That's wild. That is wild. Kind of hurts the soul. It hurts the soul even thinking about it because that could have been play of the year. It could have been play of the year. Just get rid of Thunders. Definitely would have been play of the year. Protection come out here. And we're going to roll into. He's going to roll in the E web. He's going to slow me down. Blah, 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 blah. Kind of stinks because what's called goes next now. Please, please go after. Please go after. Oh, Thunders goes for an E-Web too. Ooh. We just want some speed here. This thing's rocking E-Web? A little weird. How often do you see that? How often do you see a double E-Web come through? E-Web on a Thunder. That's pretty cool, but we're going to mine some here. Take a little bit of terrain action. And we're going to get after it. Okay, so no sweep. No sweep. That's a good sign. You guys know my rules. I don't go 0-3 in a video, which we already checked off the list. And we do not get swept, which we just checked off the list again. So 
Not too bad. Grimnay's boosted. Grimnay is boosted. I wish I had quick attack, dude. If I had quick attack on this Assassin, bop. See you later, Thunders. That could have been huge. But I wonder who he's going to roll into here. Incineroar, maybe? Incineroar, if I have to guess? No, Cali Cali. Which does not have Focus Ash, which is good. But the problem is that thing outspeeds me. He's probably going to kill me. I don't like that. <laughs> I don't like that. But from here, we got to hope that he doesn't kill me. And I just roll into Behemoth Blade, take him out. And then a Max Phantasm could KO here. But not looking good for us. Not looking good one bit. Eat this up. Yeah, no shot. No shot. No shot. That battle hurts the soul. That battle hurts soul because I wish Destiny Bomb came off here. But hey, we didn't get swept. And we go 2-1 and one for today's video. Not going to lie. Using Gorgites with this moveset is a lot of fun. He's got a lot of different options to go into. He can trick Pokemon, hand off that choice scarf, roll off from there. He also has Trick or Treat, change the Pokemon to Ghost type in. Then he has Destiny Bond too, which Destiny Bond is definitely a lot of fun to use. I just wish we could have pulled that off in the third and final battle. But the rest of the team definitely prevailed. Winning record 2-1. and one, Gotta love it. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spend positivity today. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.